Um, making public comments was a completely novel experience for me. Um, through that, through that, I've learned how um, the city government and public meetings work. And the most important lesson um, I learned was how much power the public has during those meetings, especially youth. By increasing charging stations in places where they aren't very accessible, like instead of all the EV benefits and rebates going to one group of people, it's more more people can actually benefit from all the rebates and because there's a lot of them. And after making my first public comment, I then became interested in taking on a leadership role and encouraging my peers to use their voice as well. During my time in school, I thought to myself, there's a lot of people out there working to invent new stuff. And I think there needs to be more people helping to get that new stuff actually implemented into real people's hands. So that's what made me interested in getting into policy work. Most of the time, I was always like the youngest at the meeting. So that can be a little intimidating because I wanted to start a program that would lower the activation energy and would make it easier for students to get involved in these um, per, to get involved in promoting these policies because it can make a big difference. Terra as a whole is focusing its efforts on the most current, uh, most urgent issue of our time, climate change, and we promote and support electrification, energy efficiency, and renewable energy, as well as transportation innovation, food sustainability, resilience, and adaptation. Um, Actera has a lot of programming for middle schoolers through the Youth Be the Change program and then um, for people entering the workforce in the Young Professionals program and so we wanted to create something um, that could fit in the middle um, to help with the continuity of each of these programs. We propose to use DOE funding to expand and scale up ASAP, particularly its public commenting project and also to promote interaction between age groups in our continuum of programming for young climate leaders. Um, we are seeking to partner up with the ASAP public commenting program uh, at, in the second portion of this, uh, of this year-long Youth Climate Ambassador program, so that way students can actually see what other people their age are doing to take on climate action more in that policy space. And I also enjoyed how it really was focused on community outreach, um, especially equity within the community. Um, having my voice heard during public meetings makes me feel hopeful. Um, it also makes me feel empowered. We need to amplify and uplift the voices of those who are most at risk from climate change. And being able to contribute some weight to city council discussions and decisions, um, I feel seen and I feel like my points are being heard. When I re started attending these meetings, I noticed that, you know, like my like voice does like can or does count or can make a big difference on these policies. So that was really rewarding. I believe that youth voices are the future of both our country and our planet.